if you like Concord grapes, you better preserve them. So simple, so easy to do, and you can enjoy it with your tea. It's winter time. You can make iced tea summertime with syrup. I just want to show you. I can't stop. <laughs> I, I, the beautiful color, and it's so flavorful, so delicious. Look at this beauty. I don't know how well you can see. Hajan! Every time we start filming, everyone remembers their problem. Anyway, you need a few simple ingredients. Grapes, wash them very well. And then where is water? Um, I suggest taking boiling hot water for syrup in order to start cooking immediately. Also, I use organic cane sugar. Use any kind. White granulated sugar will work just fine. And a little bit of lemon juice. A tablespoon or so. I'm gonna squeeze an entire lemon just to stop the crystallization. That's it. That's all you need. And where is the pot? Heavy bottom pot. So I'm gonna place my water, sugar, into this pot. Bring it to a boil and simmer about 7-10 minutes. And then add my grapes, oh, lemon juice, grapes, and show you the rest. So this will go on my stove top to come to a boil. And while it's boiling, I'll simply remove um, uh, grapes and go from there. I'll put down very um, detailed measurements recipe on my blog at heavenet.com but I want to tell you something it really depends how thick or thin you want your uh, grape preserves to be I like it more syrupy because later I use the syrup so I don't really cra uh, care for the grapes they give out the flavor completely whether you put them one pound or one and a half pounds so keep that in mind if you want more on a uh, grapey side put more grapes so the, the sugar water sugar measurements I'll put down very very clearly okay so I'm waiting for that to boil and let me concentrate what I'm doing and go with the flow So I'm squeezing my lemon, a little bit more or less lemon juice won't change anything dramatically. So just one lemon, go with one medium sized lemon and I'll lower the heat and let it simmer about 7 to 10 minutes, minutes, minutes <laughs> as I mentioned before. And while this is simmering, you don't want to waste your time the one I made earlier. What you do simply add a couple of I removed all the grapes. Oops, I'll put it here. A couple of lemon slices, a good amount of ice. shake and let it in your fridge while you do the rest or you can drink it right now but since the syrup has thickened already what you do you place your grapes in that boiling hot syrup very carefully and again if you like it with more grapes add more the flavor will be strong anyway you know how how thick and flavorful Concord, especially Concord grapes are. So what you do, you add the grapes, set this aside to cool down completely. It may take 30 minutes, it may take 45 minutes, but you don't want to cook it yet. I'll see you soon. Oh, if you want to add some martini or rum as a cocktail, you can do it. You have my permission. <laughs> I 
will always spill my coffee. And while the grapes are cooling down, you better make yourself a cup of coffee and enjoy it. You don't want to waste any minute of your life. And I wanted to share this new cup of mine that um, it's in production, it's a sample, but I wanted your opinion how beautiful it looks. It's fine porcelain, super light, fine, fine, fine. I love it and hopefully you like it too. Also, Carolee Armstrong sent her picture with my apron. So cute. And of course, I want to thank everyone who purchased my apron. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being with me. And I still have a lot available if you want to get it as a gift for someone who really enjoys my show and wants to wear it. I'll put the link down below this video. Don't be shy, order it. If you haven't seen it, because I know many people watch one of my videos and then they skip another one. This is probably one of the most comfortable aprons I ever wore and I didn't wear too many to be honest but the ones I the reason I don't wear apron because it actually bothers me it it makes me hot it makes me it makes me feel hot <laughs> not <laughs> makes me hot it it bothers me to do whatever I want to move to feel comfortable this one is a magical so get it if you like that's it um, I'm not the best advertiser of my own product. I said it before, I'll, I'll say it again. I'll say it again. Let me go drink my coffee and finish this preserve very soon. It's been almost 40 minutes and it's, it's not cold or super, super warm, super hot. But I want to show you, it already has the color, which is very important. Now, at this point, you want to simply bring this mixture to a quick boil and let it um, cook two to three minutes. As soon as it boils, cook two to three minutes, that's it, it's done. Prepare your jar, mason jar, any jar will work. Just make sure to sanitize it. And you can either save this at room temperature or in your fridge. I normally save it in fridge, it's safer to me. So I'll bring this to a boil, cook a few minutes, and we're done. Right, Angie? She's enjoying her, her youth. This just came to a boil. And I want to tell you a quick detail. You don't want to use any spoon, anything to mix it. You simply kind of swirl, swirl the pan. That's all you do. Now it's been almost two minutes. I'll turn this off. And while it's still hot, into its jar. Cover the lid, that's it, you're done. And of course be very careful, don't burn yourself. I'll grab a spoon to get some of the berries. And it's pretty hot, but, oops. But you are very lazy to grab something to hold it. That's why you burn your fingers. Perfect, that's it. I meant perfect, not perfect. <laughs> okay, and remember that iced tea, I haven't forgotten because it's the only thing we are able to drink or consume in this hundred, over 100 degree heat in California. Southern California, Los Angeles. That's it. You can serve this, by the way, with a lemon slice, with a few, let's say, a few grapes on top, some mint. I was barely able to get a perfect looking grape. And of course, you want to stop.
life is good. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.